right. That's the really defense from the ground. This way. Come back here. Now I make sure that I am conscious of the side. If I allow here open and it penetrates here, that's where I'll be injured. But now I allow here, it can touch here a bit. Good. But here now covers the side and I prepare. So you cannot get to the side by any means. So I cover, I make sure I cover the side and manage to get to the forehead. It does not have much effect. The only places I make I have to make sure that he cannot get to my eyes, my nose, my mouth, and the side of my ear. So I make, manage to make sure that I pull and stop and block by this way. Okay? Alright. Now, as you're going, if you can see the coverage, I'm covering the most important Now, if you can see that coverage, I make sure I try to cover every part that is dangerous to receive heat. Like from here, you can manage to penetrate here, it doesn't really have much effect. But instead, I concentrate to the side here, because these are the areas where it will receive strike there to have a big effect and here down make sure I try to cover all of this area and in turn I went I extended to covering the tummy clamping my elbows with my knees together to lock to make sure that it does not have any room to penetrate straight to the tummy. Alright let's say he has done this over time and over time and over time and it's not been able to, to get any headway. What will happen next? He will be frustrated. And when he's frustrated, this is what will happen. Now watch this. That's it. What happened? So immediately, I do that find myself up and up and I mount the attack against him. Okay? Right. Now to show that in a simple way, he comes back again. And he's there. He is there. And I have noticed that he has been so so soaked into trying to get his point and he has gotten frustrated. And I just open this way. Open this way and it goes down. What do I do? I turn and I'm up. <laughs> I do anything from here. I turn back and take the attack on him instead of him attacking me. Alright? Now let's go back to the same action trying to defend from the ground in another way. <coughs> okay? Now you come up again. Go. Boom. Now, how do I manage to do that? I allow him some time to exhaust himself, exhaust himself, and so And I notice he has got the frustration at set to. And I move my body, move my body, and I just, I just boom. I allow one punch to come up, up, and I go stop, and turn, and I return. And I can use the leg to strike. So you cannot be down and feel that you you've lost the fight. 
that is over. No. You can defend yourself from the ground and can fight from the ground and get up. Like the first one you saw, I had to throw him down from the ground and later I was up and I mounted the attack. And the second one too, I'm down, I had to defend from the ground and also mount attack from the ground. Okay? So, so this is to make you understand that when you are down, you should not think that's the end of the fight. You can fight your way up from the ground. Well, those, if you're watching our videos for the very first, first time, please do subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, let's, let's take on another way to defend from the ground and mount your tattoo from the ground. Okay, now let's come up. Like I said already before we get to the action, you will allow him to, to exhaust himself. Try as much as possible to defend and defend and defend. If he tries several ways of getting his target and he, he couldn't get it, and if he can't get his target, he will be frustrated. And when the moment you, you realize that the frustration has set in, that's when you mount your attack. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Okay, now, pause a bit, now, throw the punch here now, okay, now, from here, if, if I close here up, it will penetrate, alright, now, if you allow the punch to get to this point, you will be affected, the, the strike will get to you and you will feel it, but if you send it this way, <laughs> it won't penetrate it will stop there now by by the time you do this it opens here up a bit but here like i said throw a punch here now see you will not feel much of anything from here so you protect the areas that you will feel so much pain if it comes so that's why it goes like that see you cannot penetrate where you have those uh, delicate areas which you need to protect okay now he has gone go on go on now he goes on on and on like this and you have succeeded to defend to defend has not been able to, to get his target okay now you realize that frustration is about to set in okay so as frustration is setting in the plan for what to do and the next thing you just take your plan Father and father and father again. And you are free. So from the that from the ground, don't give up hope. We've seen a few ways of how to prove that that you don't give up hope when you're on the ground. You've seen the first, you've seen the second, and this the third one you've just seen. Okay. Now let's take it again so that I understand. Take it a little bit, more clarification. Now it goes one, two, three, like that. Defend, defend, and defend, and defend. And I go one, and I go two, and I go again. This few moves you've seen the proof of what I'm trying to say. That you can be on the ground and still win your fight. Still be uh, still take charge of the fight. All you need to know what to do that all okay all right i think we're going to pause this here it will come your way next time we'll give you more of this thank you first timers i mean those that are watching us for the very first time subscribe hit the bell and we appreciate you already subscribers thank you stay tuned